Hi, welcome or welcome back to the Intervention Channel. I'm Steve Bruno. The subject of today's video are, is uh, medical issues. Uh, people will often uh, want to delay going to a treatment program for any number of reasons. Uh, but uh, medical issues is, are one of the one of the things that that uh, will often come up. This is a fairly this is probably going to be a fairly short uh, video, one of my shorter ones, because it's really a no brainer uh, when you come to think of it. Now, you may not come to think of it simply because you're being you know your efforts are being obfuscated by the person you're trying to help, who wants to just do nothing and continue the activities that the, he or she is engaged in currently and does not want to go to the program, and perhaps they have some sort of medical condition, a, a pulled nerve, a bad back, uh, they have to be on painkillers because they had been in an accident or had some sort of surgery, that's often often the case. Um, that's often the case in terms of how addictions begin, is a dental procedure, a surgery, uh, that sort of a thing, and then of course the drug use just goes on and on and on and on and on, not because they necessarily need it or it's doing them much good anymore, but because they're addicted to opiates. Um, uh, but nonetheless, unless if your person is on meth and has medical issues, I mean, they, they may be using that as an excuse. Um, the fact is that uh, any treatment program that is worth its salt will have and access to doctors, okay? I mean, it's that, it's that simple. Um, and when I have brought this up before, often the addict or alcoholic will say, no, 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 I need my doctor. I've got to have my doctor, which of course is, you know, it's, it's bullshit, right? Um, uh, but, you know, you've got to work, you've got to work with the objections as they come up, and it can be, uh, kind of a uh, sort of a complicated uh, situation in terms of handling objections, but you should watch my video on handling objections, and uh, certainly you can write to me uh, questions. But the basic idea is that if a person has a medical issue that needs to be uh, overcome, needs to be addressed, he or she can have his or her medical records transferred to the treatment center, uh, and uh, they can. Uh, then refer him or her to specialists. He can refer them to, uh, to uh, you know, a regular doctor if that's what's required. But certainly there will be, in any uh, program worth its salt, there will be access to doctors. And in many of the programs that I work with actually have doctors on staff. And most of the programs I work with ha at least have a nurse on staff. We actually, when I was at the, uh, at the program I went to out in Watsonville, uh, we had a nurse, and uh, I remember this guy had just gotten out of heart surgery, okay? So this is about as much of a medical issue as one can have. Uh, he just got out of, like, a bypass surgery or something like that, and they brought him to the program with his own nurse. I think maybe the family was wealthy or something, but or, you know, enough to uh, afford this uh, care uh, for him. And he, br he shows up at the program with one of those IV drip deals. He had to roll it around. I mean, he was post-op, man, but he came. And uh, we had this special sauna program that we did and, and, and uh, to re rejuvenate the body, repair the body, lots of vitamins and lots of fats and electrolytes, cell salts, that sort of thing. And so he really got what he needed there. And um, it was fine. You know, they had doctor, they went to the doctor and got his checkups and all that. So in other words, there's no reason not to get the person into a program if he has medical issues. And in fact, if this person that I'm describing, the guy with the heart uh, surgery, had, uh, um, uh, had uh, not come to the program, if he had stayed at home and continued to use, that would have been exponentially worse, a much worse scenario than for him to actually come to the program with his medical issue and get that handled while he's clean and not using and is recovering and getting better. And of course, the better he gets, the more causative he becomes over his life and the universe and relationships and all this, the better he is healing because the just the better he's doing and he's getting rest that he needs. You know, they made every accommodation for him. He's getting good food. He's getting good social activity. He's getting sunshine. He's getting the sauna. He's getting the vitamins, all of this. So do not let that 
uh, prevent you from getting your loved one into a program, and it should be every reason, in fact, to get him or her into the program. Okay, well, that's it on that subject. If you'd like to ask me a question directly, you can do so at stevebruno.com. You can fill out the contact form. Uh, my phone number is there if you'd like to call or text. See if I have time. I'll, I'll talk to you if I, if I do, certainly free of charge. Um, and uh, if you'd like to ask a question, there are the comments section, and then everybody can see the answer. Um, and uh, what else? Oh, my book. I have a book. Uh, and there's a whole section in there on handling medical issues. The book is called More Than Hope. It's on Amazon, and uh, it's available on Kindle. It's, it's like 7 bucks on Kindle, 15 bucks for the paperback. Um, and that's it. So uh, please uh, watch the other videos that are here uh, for you, to educate you, to help illuminate, educate, help you win the games so that you can save or help the one you love recover from the problems and addictions that he has. My name is Steve Bruno. Thank you for watching the Intervention Channel.